the drive to kind of do um, kind of more than the standard and uh, to kind of make things a bit better than yeah than if you, you kind of just follow the, the flow. So are you ambitious? Uh, I, I don't know if I'd be ambitious in a traditional sense um, but yeah certainly to some extent I am. So what kind of non-traditional non sense are you ambitious? Uh, no interest in money, no interest in fame. Um, for me, I guess what I'm interested about is I, I want um, the f freedom to kind of choose my own life and um, yeah, have you know, work and family and, and be in control of it all without someone else kind of dictating what I can do when. So why do you think you're this way? Um, probably a few things. Uh, I was a really, really big dreamer as a kid. Um, so my, my ambitions have dropped since then from being a you know, uh, ruler of the universe to kind of more subtle things but um, and then also growing up you know my dad had um, his work as an electrician and you know started out just doing normal stuff and worked past all the other guys to actually be running the company without you know he didn't kiss ass or anything to get there he just worked hard um, and then the other thing is that having a um, career in internet you know the, the internet kind of takes away a lot of the um, restrictions that you see and you can start to do a lot more with less. So, yeah. so can you describe the most ambitious person you know or an ambition per ambitious person you know that isn't you? Uh, I would say it would be my wife, Jess. Uh -huh. um, Jess uh, works for a not-for-profit who are uh, like basically on a day-to-day -day basis trying to improve the world kind of as a whole and you know, they, they literally have these discussions where every so often I'm in an office or listening on calls and like they're literally talking about how to save the world which yeah makes my stuff sound a little bit smaller but. Mm -hmm. And how is ambition viewed in New Zealand do you think? Um, I think ambition is, uh, there's lots of discussion about tall poppy syndrome, I think ambition is viewed as kind of necessarily good or bad in New Zealand. I, I think it's, people are a lot more um, aware or sometimes judgmental of the motivations for ambition, I think that's kind of a more important factor in New Zealand. Um, you know, when, when we do, we have Kiwis overseas that are really successful, you know, people are very quick to claim that, you know, this is a Kiwi, one of us doing stuff, um, but yeah, it's, it's uh, depends on why they're kind of going for things, I guess. And was that part of your motivation to move away, to get, to get away from that? No, no. Um, I came here because Jess got the job here. Okay. Um, yeah, I, was, I could do what I was doing at home quite easily, I think. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, I, I think uh, this is one thing is that it is, ambition is kind of contagious and when you have kind of a drive, you know, everyone's really willing to help out and help you succeed and um, yeah, I think that's probably it.